Well, come along to the Arl Gallery in St John's with me is Julie Collins, uh, a Manx lass who uh, doesn't live here all the time but does commute on EasyJet. I'll come to that later because that's how we know each other, doesn't it? Yes. But uh, this is um, one of your exhibitions. I know you've done a little bit here before, but your biggest, would you say, this one is? Yes, this is my largest exhibition here so far. I had an exhibition, here, a big exhibition, two years ago, mm -hmm. um, but this is just open t today. Yeah, we're here for the, the sort of uh, people with the wine and dining. Um, tell me a bit about what work you're showing here. Uh, it's a collection of work, recent work, um, mainly landscape and seascape based, um, but partly from my imagination. So there's work that I've actually painted outside, that's how I do my research, and then um, I go back to the studio and not looking at the sketches, but from my imagination make the paintings that you can see here. Well, that's different. Mm. So that is your mind's eye? Yes. Yes, that's what's in my head, yeah. And that's quite different from what you maybe see then? You mean you, you, you pick out the best bits or you can filter out things you don't like or something like that? Yeah, well, I suppose in the process of making a painting, um, it, they, it check, you'll see in this work it's quite layered. So you change, you might put one layer of paint on and then add another layer. So there's different things that you see in that. Do you actually know when to stop sometimes? I mean, is it something that's, you can go back to and keep doing? Yeah, it's very difficult to know when to stop. Mm. The last bit of the painting, uh, finishing it, is the hardest bit because that's the time when you could ruin it. Right. So, it, it watercolours, yes? It's watercolour um, or acrylic used like watercolour. Yeah. Um, I started watercolour painting 20 years ago um, and painted in quite a traditional way. And then I decided that I wanted to push the boundaries of watercolour. So I call this now contemporary watercolour. So you see some of them over here yeah. are that's half sheet of paper. Well, I'll do the biggest ones. I do are five foot by seven foot on the floor. Yeah. Well, all the pa paint would drip off if it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, a watercolour. Yeah. You can't have it on um, an easel because it would drip down. So it's, I work. Big ones are all done on the floor. And mostly landscapes. Uh, landscapes or landscapes with birds landscapes with figures mm -hmm. and some seascapes so obviously a lot of interest in your work yeah well i hope so yes <laughs> i mean how do you keep getting inspired as an artist do you move on to something else or do you keep with one thing uh well i mainly keep with uh landscapes mm. and seascapes and birds and figures a combination of um and there are times where um i think you don't feel inspired and then you, I, like, I haven't painted for two or three months now, but I know that when I get to September, I'll be ready to start painting again. Okay. The thing is not to worry about that. And any Manx seascapes here? Uh, yes, uh, that's a Manx seascape over yeah. there. Um, and then over, there's some ink drawings. There's, that's from um, Blue Point in the north of the island yeah. and Greber. And then around the corner, there's some sketches that are I'm done. Glad you're keeping your Manx bit in there then. Oh, yeah, yeah. I should finish this interview by saying we met on an EasyJet plane that got turned back yes. as we were coming into the Isle of Man and went back to London. Yes. So we, we've known each other, we know each other a while. Yeah. while now. Yeah. Anyway, I'm glad you got in all right today. Yeah, thank you. Great weather. And uh, I hope you guys well. How long's it on for the show? Uh, the exhibition's on for six weeks, so mm. till the 23rd of September.